So earlier today, I went to go see Captain America the First Avenger, and I have to say, <laughs> it's a pretty darn good movie. If you're gonna watch it, I really suggest you watch it on the big screen and bring a couple of friends along. It's alright, I guess, if you're gonna watch it by yourself, but to really maximize its awesomeness, you really want to bring like a good, good cluster of people with you, just so you can know the talking after all. So earlier today, I went to go see Captain America the First Avenger, and I have to say, it's a pretty darn good movie. If you're gonna watch it, I really suggest you watch on the big screen, and that you also bring a couple of your friends along. I guess the movie would be alright if you decided to watch it by yourself, but it's really best viewed with a group of people. And for God's sake, don't. Don't watch the 3D version of this movie. There's absolutely no point whatsoever. But, also, don't get me wrong, some bad elements do manage to creep their way into this movie, but they really don't detract from it overall. But before I get into any of that, there are some good things I do want to talk about. Two of them to be exact. The first thing being Chris Evans as Captain America. Chris Evans does an amazing, just a downright amazing job playing Steve Rogers. We've all heard the joke of how could they have the Human Torch playing Captain America? And I have to say, at least to me, he, he nailed it. He pretty much nailed Steve Rogers. And that shows just how much of a competent actor Chris Evans really is. Because Steve Rogers and Johnny Storm are just two characters, two personalities. They're just worlds apart from each other. And he does a pretty darn good job of just distinguishing himself just away from that Johnny Storm role. The second thing would be is how they don't let the idea of the Avengers overpower the plot of this movie like what happened in Iron Man 2. All I'm going to say is that Tony Stark's father plays a really prominent role in this movie and is that some of the things that were mentioned in passing about his life in Iron Man 2 are completely fully realized in this movie. And to be honest, there weren't that many bad spots with the movie, it's just that when there was one, it was as bright as the sun. And on that note, I'd like to talk about one, well, two major errors with this film. The one, one major fault I have with this movie is the Cuban mcguffin that they never, ever explained throughout the entirety of this movie. I don't want to spoil too much, but all I'm going to say is that in the final battle between Captain America and the Red Skull, get ready for a major letdown because of this item. They use the Cuban MacGuffin in order to introduce the Red Skull, and then it's never brought up again until the end of the movie. And let me say this, I have never, never seen an audience as confused at what happens at the battle between Captain America and the Red Skull because of this item. But the crazy thing is, I don't want to really come down too hard on it, because for some odd reason I could feel on my bones that they're going to explain it further in either Captain America 2 or possibly the Avengers movie. I don't know, I just do. The second issue I had was the film's editor. I don't know if he was falling asleep or what, because by the time this movie reaches its climax, the editing becomes really, really choppy. Let me give an example. You know the scene in the trailer where, you know, Captain America grabs a chain and he's swinging like Tarzan. Yeah, in the movie, they have it so he's running, he jumps into the air, he grabs the chain, he starts swinging in slow motion, they get the little back away shot where you see all the little action explosions that are happening around him. Well, what if I told you the very next scene, the very next scene, is him running on the ground again like none of that had ever happened? Yeah, you'll be pretty confused. The whole, the whole scene was just there to put butts in the seat for the trailer. I honestly can't think of a movie that's done that in such a long time. That just threw me out of the illusion of the theater. If you can think of one, please leave a comment and tell me about it, because I honestly can't think of anything. Overall, Captain America is a really enjoyable movie. As I said earlier, I really suggest that you bring a group of friends to just kind of maximize the amount of fun you're going to have while you're watching it. Let me know in the comic sections what you liked and what you didn't like about the movie. I want to hear it. Anyways, my name is Quantum and peace out everyone.